if you if you're paying attention to where it's going, a large amount of it is about to get sucked up by AI, like a giant chunk of the entertainment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I th- a I think giant was, chunk. Tyler Perry. Uh, it was a story maybe like three weeks ago. Yeah, I and I think he was in the middle of either producing a movie or doing something. And he was just, building an eight hundred million dollar studio, and he paused the construction as soon as he saw. Us. What is it called? Sora. Sora. Yeah. Sora. Create it can create entire scenes. Entire scenes. Entire scenes that look realistic. Have you seen it? I haven't seen Watch it. Watch this. This video came out yesterday, I think. This is like a balloon head guy. It's like a short film. It all these scenes supposedly I guess are made by Sora. So this is all AI. Jesus. Yeah, it's over. They say everyone has something unique about them. I don't know about the so audio, that could be done afterwards. It's just in my case, you know, it's quite obvious what that thing is. I am literally filled with hot air. Yeah, living like this has its challenges. Uh, windy days, for one, are particularly troublesome. Or there was a one time my girlfriend insisted I go to the cactus store to get my Uncle Jerry a wedding present. This is crazy. What do I love most about my predicament? Yeah, it's pretty well made. I don't know if we can and that's somebody just putting in the information yes. and that's being created. Yeah. The New World Entertainment, Joe, this is what my prediction is. But this is such a leap. That is, is such a leap above everything now else. Now, you add that to add this. This is what's going to happen eventually. And this is not the right thing to say, especially about Hollywood. The idea of agencies, the idea of A&R, all of those jobs are about to be gone. And only thing you're going to have is content creators. And the content creators are going to cut the middleman of the agency out, and they're going to go straight to the advertisers and the people that pay the money. You having to be connected with a certain entity or a certain agency, and they probably kill me after this, Joe. I'm tr- I, This makes me Illuminati right now. Gee. They're going to kill me, Joe. Cat Williams and everybody coming <laughs> for my neck. I'm telling you, it's going to come <clears throat> where all of those things that you needed to make it aren't going to exist anymore. And we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're close to that right now. Well, we the already biggest... lost sitcoms. So sitcoms were number one. Right. That, was, that was like a number one job for a comedian. You get your own show. Yeah, right? that was the only job you wanted. That was right. the, uh, the job that everybody wanted. And then they had comedy movies. Well, comedy movies have been drastically reduced. So the sitcom's gone, and then the comedy movies have drastically been reduced. But what did most people want that for, Joe? What did what did what if the comedians wanted that for? Two things: money and fame. Yeah, because there was Those no social the media, and there was no YouTube, and so ticket sales were really dependent upon you being on a television show. One hundred percent. Yeah, it was a big factor. Yeah, and if you're a smart person, you know how to really uh, utilize the system. I want to say manipulate, but that's the wrong word. It really is utilize. Utilize. Because it's just, you're like Mr. Beast. That's a perfect example. Right. That guy figured out like how to make the right captions and how to make the right image for the, that you click on for the YouTube videos, the right, the right title. And then he figured out how to just keep dumping money into his product. And he figured out exactly where the algorithms are, and he has it translated into different languages. And that's like, a, that's a definite. That's a, that's what I'm saying is, <clears throat> that's the skill set that's going to get rid of a lot of jobs. A, that guy's a unicorn, though. But here's the thing: I I feel like if you have AI, uh, like whatever the next generation of Chat GPT is you could be able to devise a very effective business plan that like really made sense. The AI would sort of guide you step by step. Like this is what you're going to do to achieve success. It'll probably even break it down. If you write for 20 minutes every day, that will increase your, your time of material by 50 minutes over the course of the next 10 months. And if you like do all the calculations, like, holy shit, is that real? And if you really thought about it that way, like through artificial intelligence, you let it guide your career, it would probably do a fucking amazing job <laughs> of like putting you into the perfect position to be. I mean, if, if artificial So we're going to be auditioning really... against motherfuckers. Uh, artificial intelligence yes. guy, you like, you, you sending your tape in, and then they got a motherfucker that's auditioned like this. Hey, I need. 
I need Joe to be a police officer, arrest these guys for stealing. John, and, we have to realize we're that close to them. Be, they're being fake people. We're that close. I'm, hopefully, we, I'm dead before they show up. No, it's Cause not. Because I already deal with regular no. fake people. <laughs> <laughs> now we got artificially created fake people. Oh, Hollywood is fucking uh, dead. Oh, they're in trouble. Oh, Hollywood's dead. No, uh, no, no, no. For real, though, Hollywood's dead. Just you looking at that it. movie. You buried it. You helped bury it. I didn't do shit. Yes, you what did. What did I do? I just you, you, abandoned you, ship. You helped bury it. You helped. You showed motherfuckers something you could do that they probably didn't think you could do. Go somewhere, post up, do your shit, and create a whole fucking comedy community in Austin. Yeah, I didn't think I could do it either. You knew you could do it. <laughs> I did not know yes, I could do it. Yes, you knew you could do it. I did not know and I could do it. it. I just did it. That's why, I'm, I'll tell you, and you have, like, you doing it. A lot of people doing it. But I did your club, The Mothership, and it's like, anybody, not anybody, if you have enough money, you could build a, a nice club, right? It's a nice club, state of the art, whatever. But it doesn't make it a comedy community. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's going to be the challenges of like all these people that open up comedy clubs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Dave has opened up one. I think Mike Epps, just a lot of them like popping up. And I think that's the dope thing. But the thing is, like, it's, it's a difference between having a comedy community. You know? Yeah, you have to do that on purpose. Yeah. You know? And that's one of the things that we did when we opened up the club was set up, like, a whole, like, th these are the nights you're going to have open mic. You know, we're going to have uh, comedians audition to be door people so that, like, they'll be able to see guys like David Tell, who's just there right. this weekend. And then you'll have, like, this very clear pathway. There's, like, open mic night. The uh, talent coordinator would be there. He'd be able to watch you. Maybe he can even give you some tips. Other comics can watch you. They see you work in the door. You get to see all this great comedy. You get to be around all this great comedy. And then there's a lot of places to go in town. And we'll let you punch out. Seven they days a week, right? They let people punch out. Like a comic has a set down the street. They yeah. can punch out, go run down the street, do a set, come That's back to work. That's how it's supposed work. to be. You do seven days a week, right? Yeah, we're seven days a week.